it's the morning of the first sea day and I had a really decent sleep not perfect but decent sleep at the back of the ship where this suite is I've noticed that there is a little bit more noise than there was on the previous cabin where I was on the side and although it wasn't loud I'm a bit of a light sleeper so for me it did keep me up a little bit but the views back here make it worthwhile we're off to find some breakfast and have a bit of a walk around the deck which is one of my favorite things to do on a sea day morning It's now late morning, we've come to the Oasis for a bit of a sit down. The weather's really cool on this cruise, so it's actually pretty chilly, and uh, which is why I'm wearing my, my zip. But the sun is shining and it's a beautiful day out here on the sea. We can see land in the distance and the vibe is really fun. Music's playing. Just ordered a espresso martini because I feel like coffee in the morning is allowed. That's probably the sound of it being shaken right now. We had a great breakfast at the waterfront though, I will say that it was a little bit on the slow side. Uh, we're gonna put that down to the fact that this is the second guest cruise, technically after the activation cruise, but it was a little bit lengthy. So we'll give them a chance to uh, speed that up. I'm sure they will when they start getting used to service again. But so far, all is good and all is great. I'm loving being back on the sea. just come back from a couple of hours on the Oasis pool deck we spent some time in the hot tub and the waiters are bringing us a couple of beverages which was really fun come back to the room now to a warm up with a hot shower because it is chilly outside and one of the perks in the suite is that you get a Nespresso coffee machine so I've just made a little shot of coffee one of my favorites and tonight is the Gatsby night so we're gonna be dressing up a little bit later and going and enjoying all of the uh, 1920s Prohibition era style fun. But either way, we're having a fun day here on Pacific Explorer and you can keep following along. Sunset. We didn't have lunch today, so it's gonna be an early dinner at 400 Grady. Just returned to the room and because it's Gatsby night, the steward has left some little hors d'oeuvres and uh, red wine. Nice little touch.
Well, the four night cruise has come to an end. The first cruise to sail out of Sydney with paying passengers on board. And I would say that it was a big success for both P&O and cruise lovers in general. We had a fantastic four nights and I'll give you a full in-depth review very soon where I'll go into more detail about what was fantastic and maybe some things that could use a little bit of work. But frankly, I'm just so glad that cruising is back. I hope you've enjoyed following along. Thank you as always for subscribing to the channel and if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you are interested in more information about cruising, you can head to my website, thecruisingtravelguy.com.au and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at The Cruise and Travel Guy.